Welcome everyone. This is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. So what I have for you today? So as usual, we are going to move forward with the Tableau Desktop Specialist Preparation uh, Series, and, and this is our agenda for today: manage data properties. So how you rename a field, assign an alias to a data value, and many more. At the end, you will have quiz. So ensure that you hear me properly, you watch me properly, so that you can answer the answer all the questions. In a correct fashion. Who am I? So I assume that you have already covered my 1.1 and 1.2 session. So this is 1.3 where we are talking about metadata. So what is metadata? Metadata is data about data, right? In other words, information that's used to, des to describe the data that contained in something like a web page, document, or file. So when you connect with Tableau, you would have seen how some of the fields will come under measure, some of the fields will come under dimension. So each field will have a few properties over there. For example, state is a geographical field. Sales is a measure field. There must be a default aggregation for sales, say sum. That means when you drag sales to rows or columns shelves, what appears is sum by default. Your, your sales may have a currency unit as dollar. So these are all properties or say information about your data. So metadata is data about data. So what's the context today? Lakshman has been given a task to allocate default aggregation of sales as average, not sum. So we will have a demo from, from there. It will be more clear. So one is to change the default aggregation of sales from sum to average. Other thing is that there is a field it's called region having one of the region as central, but what we want is central US, right? So we want to get the best possible way to do that. There are a couple of ways to do that. Also, he needs to display the same field region in the form of a map. So this is the query for Lakshman today. So let's go with the demo here and you can see all the fields have been divided by this line. Upper part, these are all dimensions. Lower part, these are all, these are all measures. So each field will have a certain uh, pro properties, a few properties over there. For example, city is of type location or the geographical field. Customer name is of type string ABC, whereas row ID is of type is of type string over there. First of all, let us try to rename our data field. So no hard and fast rule. For example, you have here order day of order. Maybe we want to change that to order date. And that's it. You can see the change over there directly. Alternatively, you can go to data source and from there also you can rename any field. Okay, like, like this. Now we can go back to the sheet. If you, if you talk about the story part over there, we want to convert central to central dash us over there, right? That's the motive over there. So let's see what we can, what are the different options that we have. Also, we have been set to achieve that with the best possible way over there. So one way is to create a calculation and say that wherever region is central, you know, if then else or say case statement with the help of case statement, we can do that. For example, I have written a formula over there, case region when central, then central US, else region. So we can write this calculation and I can just drag new region over there. So this is one of the way with the help of which you can get a central US over there, right? Can you see? Central US, right? That's what, central US. But remember that we are writing a calculation and this calculation, what it will do, it will go to each and every row and will check whether there's a region when central, then central US, otherwise else region, right? So the native feature of Tableau, right? If you can avoid calculation, it's very good for your performance, right? Especially when you are dealing with big data. Now the second feature alias would be pretty handy with respect to this. So I don't, I don't want to go with this thing. I'll put region there back. Here we go. And we'll do something else, something more interesting. I'll go to region aliases and I say central. 
US. And I say, okay. And here you go. We have central use US with the help of alias. So it doesn't have to go to the database and go and check each row over there. You know, it's just an alias over there. So that's how you are improving the performance, especially when you are dealing with big data. But there are a few things that you need to notice. Aliases, when you are going to measure, no, you don't see that. You will not have any option over there. It won't make sense as well. At the same time, if you switch over to publish data source that you see over there, this is a published data source, this one, center one. You can't do alias with this, right? For example, if I go to category, uh, you don't have the option itself. Although you can create a copy, you can duplicate it. You have created a copy and after that you will see the, the option over there. So remember when you can use, when you cannot use, when you cannot use and what are the alternatives over there. Okay, now move over to the point number three, how to assign a geographic role to a data feed. So Tableau is intelligent enough to give geographical role from its site itself when you have city, country and state. So it's intelligent enough to give the geographical role by default. Not in the case when you have something called region, which is actually a geographical field, but you'll have to convert that to a geographical field. How? Let me show you. First of all, let, it, let, let us do it from the scratch. This is region. I, give, I will give this a state province. Okay, this is a geographical role. And with once you turn that to geographical role, for example, country, or if I go with state, it's very straightforward. You, you double click and you get these states, right? It will not be very straightforward with respect to region over there because you have central, east, south, and west as values over there. So when you double click on that, it will say there are four unknown values over there. So now how to solve that? So what you can do is you can double click there. You can say edit location. And you can give a corresponding location right inside the United States, like Central. If you know any Central, or for example, I know West, you have California. So I can put it over there. East, I think New York. I can put it like that. Central. Okay. South Texas. Okay. Boom. Now you get it. Now, this is the way you can convert a field to a geographical type. And at the same time, you can edit or modify the location and you can sort your problem as well. Now we should talk about the point number four and five where, where you can change data type for a data field and change the default properties for a data field. So I come back to metadata demo and here I'm interested to change a few things over there. For example, by default, I want this aggregation to be as average not sum so what i can do i can go to sum of sales i convert that to average so by default now when you will drag and drop sales it will give you average so i by default i want average you also have option to put some comments over there for example if i go to default properties and i put comment I can say this is sales for US market. So you can see, you can just hover and it's like a tool tip over there and it could be very handy. Not for sales QS, it's pretty straightforward, but there will be certain measures over there for which you may not have knowledge. So you can guide your teammates, the other fellow developers, so as to know from where they are picking these measures, right? Uh, and maybe I don't want to display the dollar over there. I just want number. Uh, you can just go and number format. Maybe you can customize it or automatic. So I don't want uh, the dollar over there. So I've made it like this. Maybe like, like instead I would like to have it like this, you know. I want to put dollar over there instead. So there are certain things that you can, you know, uh, there are certain ways with the help of which you can change the metadata, data about data. Also, I see over there row ID as a uh, string, but I think it makes sense to have this as number. 
So I can convert at any point of time this to number and it will change from ABC to hash over there confirming that I have been able to convert the data type. So what's the takeaway for our story? Let's go to the story takeaways. Now Lakshman has decided to create aliases for members in a dimension so that their labels appear differently in the view as central US. He works to create a calculation field since it might not be performance oriented. So that's what we have done. Also, we were able to change the region field to geographical field successfully. Now it's the quiz time. You can just pause here because I'm going to turn to the quiz solution in five seconds. So guys, I hope this session was useful as well for your certification. And this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data, because data is data, what do you think? Everything is